Hello students. Uh, today I will be showing you the application of uh, Fourier theorem in real life. Uh, what we will be doing is uh, we will be recording uh, uh, one waveform uh, using a digital storage oscilloscope and then we will be uh, doing its uh, Fourier analysis. So we are going to use this small uh, code for uh, generating a square wave uh, uh, with the help of Arduino Uno. So this program has been uploaded into uh, this UNO and the pin number 12 is now producing a square wave at uh, uh, with, with a time period of 100 milliseconds. So this square wave signal is uh, brought here and uh, fed across this capacitor. This is the 4.7 uh, microfarad capacitor and the signal has been fed across it through this 1k resistance. So anyway, we are not concerned with this electronic circuitry at the moment. What is important is uh, how we perform the Fourier analysis of uh, any sort of waveform which we come across in the real world scenario. So let's... Okay, so these are the signals that we are getting. So we'll just uh, shift them a little bit. I'll make it smaller. Okay, so I take one of them upwards. Okay, so these are the signals that we're getting. Right. So the lower one, uh, this one is the input signal which has been uh, uh, taken from uh, the leads coming from Arduino Uno. The upper one is uh, the another signal which is uh, showing the potential across the capacitor. So the e either one of the signals is taken from uh, the opposite sides of the 1k resistor. So now we'll just save this uh, waveform. So we record it once and tell it to save. So I go to external storage and uh, tell it okay I need to create a new file. Yes new file I need a CSV that's correct. So we perform a save. Yeah, that is done. The standardized procedures of Fourier theorem make it all the more useful because uh, this entire uh, procedure can be programmed into the form of a code or even hardwired into electronic devices. Now the example of this can be seen here that if I click on this math button and I ask it to perform a fast Fourier transformation so it provides me with the result and you can see uh, how the subsequent harmonics okay let's select it here how the magnitude of the harmonics is decreasing as as we proceed towards a higher harmonics and this entire thing is being performed in real time uh, now next we'll see uh, the data that we have just recorded how that can be analyzed in Excel and that we will be learning the Fourier theorem in its numerical form. Okay, we have brought in uh, the CSV file from uh, the digital storage oscilloscope and here are the channel voltages. Before we proceed ahead, let's just uh, have a quick plot of uh, these columns. I'll select the channel 1 and then go in for a quick check of what we have obtained from the DSO. Okay, let's plot this one. Yeah, this is the function. So, we'll be pasting these uh, signal values uh, for Fourier analysis workbook that we're just going to prepare. We'll put it into that. Uh, we may also need to carry out a little bit of uh, manipulation or sort of cooking. For example, you might like to start your uh, cycle from here and then end it till here. It's just a matter of choice. Otherwise, mathematically, that has uh, nothing to do with it as far as the Fourier analysis is concerned. So here I have uh, got a workbook that will be developing for a generic Fourier analysis. Uh, for solving the practical problems. So the first column has uh, got a counter. So here I'll be typing in 
uh, an expression is equal to a9 plus 1 I just need counting here and this j value will keep incrementing till we reach the 2k cycle value so this will have to input these are the only two fields that we have to input the function values okay let's bring them in from there so here are the function values I have just copied and we paste them here well done so this j is going to increment only as long as uh, this counter is less than or equal to the value of 2k so this is how it goes it will keep on incrementing so we'll just complete these two columns so while the counter column will keep incrementing indefinitely the j column will reset the moment it reaches the 2k value that is 800 as you can see here so after this uh, uh, we proceed to the next column this is nothing but uh, uh, a column meant to enhance the accuracy of the Fourier analysis you see because uh, we are covering multiple time cycles for this function so it would be better if we take into account instead of just one waveform we can take into account two three four or so on as many are available so here i have just written an expression for uh, averaging the values of fj starting here and then by adding this 2k again to it and then again uh, adding a multiple of 2k second and third so we are going to average out three consecutive cycle values here so this formula also i will be copying and pasting and the next column contains the radian equivalent of this numeric j so because 2k values of j are going to cover the complete cycle of 2 pi so this is how i have converted this j into radians and next one we are going to compute for this a1 and i have used uh, the mixed referencing style putting up dollar wherever i needed before the column i want to freeze column for facilitating pasting of the formula towards right and putting dollar sign for the uh, row reference wherever the formula is to be copied and pasted downwards so likewise you can achieve the same result or where i need an absolutely static reference for example for this c5 i have used dollar c dollar 5 as as you can see it here so we just copy and paste it double click on the fill handle and we reach there meanwhile it has already computed the value of a naught that is by calculating the area under the curve over one cycle and then dividing it by the corresponding value of 2k uh, using this expression shown on the right now this is the n value so we just type in here for going to the next level this is uh, is equal to f7 plus 1 so we get n equal to 2 I make it bold face I can copy and paste it here just the cosmetic part of it so here I have simply concatenated a with the n value and these are the harmonics we'll first have to compute b values b n values before this can work out correctly so we expect to have the b values starting with column x so up till column x we'll have a certain number of a values let's just copy and paste till here see how many how much space we have got okay so we'll be getting as many as 18 of the a values right fine it's okay so let's copy and paste this also towards right well done and similarly copy and paste this okay i also bring in this value this is nothing but summation of the entire column for a till a large row number i have taken 5000 as you can see in the formula bar or you can see here this is how we compute the summation to determine a1 okay so now the next task is a quick one we'll just select this column and paste it here so we get all the a values and next we proceed to 
maybe we can add a couple of more harmonics we'll just have to change the expression for h we'll do that let's have as many as 21 computing is not a problem these days so we now start with b i can just bring in the expression from here okay and uh, here we only have to change this cosine with sine and maintaining the same reference style here i have to specify n should be equal to 1 so instead of doing that i should bring here as reference of f7 so this one becomes equal to f7 we copy and paste the concatenation and summation formula so i get the value of b1 but before it can be done i have to fill the entire column now the rest of the task is easy we just have to paste this formula 20 times so this makes it 20 so i paste it here the job is done so we have values up till b21 the next task is so we have to determine harmonics or rather you can say this is going to be sum of harmonics that should come here and here you're going to have the individual harmonics okay so let's write it as h1 h2 and so on so h1 is going to be a n cos n omega t plus b n sin n omega t so where is my a n a n is lying here to begin with a1 this is in f6 so i have to put in static reference so this is equal to dollar f dollar six into cosine of n i can recall is lying in f7 into my omega is lying let's check where we have omega and pi t So here we type in the expression is equal to f dollar 6 is where my a1 is contained and this is to be multiplied by cosine of n pi j and instead of n pi I'll be uh, referring to the cell f dollar 7 and dollar uh, e9. So here I type in f dollar 7 into dollar e9 e9 is a cell where we have this uh, j times pi and f7 is where we have n so plus we add uh, the sine component and for b1 we have to refer to a a dollar 6 a a dollar 6 into sine of f dollar 7 into uh, dollar e9 so for the first harmonic okay done and uh, then we proceed to the next harmonic uh, so i think it's better if we can uh, label this h1 h2 using some formula so it would be better to bring it from there okay so i have got this expression i copy this from the formula bar and i bring it here and paste the expression here and done now we can copy and paste it towards right so we should be getting as many as 21 harmonic 21 harmonics are there now only thing we need to do is we have to populate them uh, in the subsequent rows lying beneath but before that let's write here the sum of harmonics okay so let's write sigma h okay, 
let's say it's enter justified a little bit of cosmetic changes and here we type in the expression is equal to sum of a w 9 to we have to go till b q 9 we can go beyond also because they are all empty cells so won't make any difference so anyhow so here we've got this sum of harmonics let's color this one differently for ease of identification okay so i have colored this one now we can use the autofill handle to complete the task now this is the final result that we have got in this column for sigma h and uh, would be now advisable that we check this result first before we proceed ahead so here we are going to insert a graph like this one yeah good we got it so i'll cut it from here i'll just move upwards and come here i'd like to paste it here so this is what we have just calculated and alongside we can also keep a graph pertaining to this fj so let's select these values and insert a graph so this is the source function and this is the sum of harmonics you can see some little bit of spiking over here but this is how the Fourier analysis is performed so I can do a little bit of cosmetics again so this is a regional function and this one is sum of harmonics sum of 21 harmonics so that's all folks for now thanks for watching